This video provides a comprehensive overview of the features that are used throughout the GeoGebra construction videos, in addition to several other useful features. For Windows users, all clicks will refer to left-clicking the mouse unless otherwise specified. When GeoGebra is first opened, the following elements are present. The drawing pad, the toolbar, and the input bar. The algebra view is also visible along the left-hand side of the GeoGebra window. The drawing pad is where the constructions will be made. By default, the X and Y axes are present. The axes can be turned on and off through the view menu. A grid can also be turned on or off through the view menu. We will see how the drawing pad works as we go through GeoGebra's various tools. The toolbar is the row of icons along the top of the GeoGebra window. As tools are selected, their names and a short description appear to the right of the icons. Depending on the size of the GeoGebra window, the description may or may not be visible. On the far right are two arrow icons. Clicking the top icon undoes previous actions, and clicking the bottom icon redoes previously undone actions. An explanation of the tools that will be used in GeoGebra constructions will be given shortly. The Algebra view is the frame along the left side of the GeoGebra window. This frame keeps track of the elements that are located on the drawing pad, such as the coordinates of points, the lengths of line segments, equations of functions, areas of polygons, and variables. These elements are identified by automatically assigned names and colors, and will be seen shortly. The algebra view will not be used for the constructions in the GeoGebra videos, as numerical values are not used with geometric constructions. However, the algebra view can be used to verify that you have successfully performed a geometric construction. The bar along the bottom of the GeoGebra window is called the input bar. This field allows the input of text commands in place of using tools with the drawing pad. GeoGebra commands can be entered, as well as algebraic functions. The pull-down menus to the right of the input bar have standard mathematical symbols, Greek letters, and a list of commands that can be entered into the input bar. When an item is selected from any of the pull-down menus, it is automatically inserted into the input bar. The input bar will not be used for the constructions in the GeoGebra videos, as everything will be done with tools on the drawing pad. Let's take a look at some of the tools we will be using for our constructions. Click on the bottom half of the icon with a point and the letter A. If the top of the icon is clicked, whatever tool shown is selected. If the bottom of the icon is clicked, a list of available tools is displayed along with the tool's names. Select New Point from the list of available tools by clicking on the icon or the text. Move the cursor onto the drawing pad and it will be displayed as crosshairs, along with the coordinates of where the cursor is. We will be creating three types of points. One point that can be moved freely around the drawing pad, one point that can only be moved along a line or curve, and one point that cannot be moved. Click first on any of the white space on the drawing pad, and a dark blue point is created and automatically labeled as A. This point can later be moved anywhere on the drawing pad. Note that in the algebra view the point is listed as a free object and its color in the algebra view is the same as its color on the drawing pad. The algebra view also shows the coordinates of point A. Next, click on either the X or Y axis and a light blue point is created and automatically labeled as B. This point can later be moved anywhere along the line or curve it is placed on. Note that in the algebra view, point B is listed under dependent objects because of its placement on a line. Finally, click on the intersection of the X and Y axes and a black point will be created, automatically labeled as point C. Point C is restricted to the intersection of the X and Y axes and therefore cannot be moved. Select the white arrow icon on the far left of the toolbar. This is the Move tool, and it is used to select and move elements of the construction on the drawing pad. 
Click on point A and hold down the mouse button. The cursor will change to a hand with a pointing finger and the coordinates of point A will again be displayed. While holding down the mouse button, move the cursor around the drawing pad. Notice that point A moves with the cursor. Release the mouse button and point A is once again placed on the drawing pad and the cursor returns to an arrow. Repeat the same action for B. Notice that point B will only move along the line on which it was created. Try moving point C. Notice that point C cannot be moved by the Move tool. The only way point C can be moved is by moving one or both of the lines or curves that intersect. The Move tool also allows for the selection of multiple elements. Click and hold the mouse near the top left corner of the drawing pad and drag the mouse down to the bottom right corner. If all three points are inside of the blue selection box, they will all be selected. This is useful for moving or removing multiple elements at a time. Once you have made a selection, press the Backspace or Delete key and the points will be removed. The Backspace or Delete key can be used with single elements as well. Click on the yellow arrow, the Undo tool, in the upper right hand corner and the previous action is undone, placing the three points back on the drawing pad. Now let's look at the line tools. Click on the bottom of the icon with a line through two points to see the available tools in this pull down menu. For the GeoGebra videos, we will be using the line through two points, segment between two points, and ray through two points tools. These tools can be used with new or existing points on the drawing pad. To see how these tools work, select the Line Through Two Points tool. Click first on point A, then click anywhere else on the drawing pad to create a new point, D, and a line that passes through points A and D. This line is automatically labeled as A and is listed in the Algebra view with the equation of the line. The Segment Between Two Points tool works the same way, but creates a line segment between two points rather than a line. Line segments listed in the Algebra view will not have equations, but the lengths of the line segments. The Ray Through Two Points tool creates a ray, or half line, starting from the first point clicked and passing through the second point. Like lines, half lines have equations listed in the Algebra view. The last set of tools we will look at are the Circle tools. These tools can be found by clicking the bottom of the icon with a circle. The tools we will be using in the GeoGebra videos are the Circle with Center Through Point and Compass tools. Select the Circle with Center Through Point tool. Click on point B to create the center of the circle and notice that the circumference of the circle is attached to the cursor. The second click we make will place a point on the drawing pad, point E, as well as a circle labeled as lowercase c. The radius of circle C is the distance between points B and E. The compass tool works like a traditional physical compass. To see how the compass tool works, select it from the circle toolbar and click first on point D, then on point A. Notice that a circle appears, centered at the mouse cursor. The radius of this circle is equal to the distance between points D and A. To place this circle, we can use an existing point or new point to be the circle's center. Click anywhere on the drawing pad where there is not an existing point, line, or circle. This creates a new point F and centers the circle at point F and automatically labels the circle with lowercase d. Notice the equation of the circle also appears in the Algebra view. Since we won't be using the Algebra view and input bar in our geometric constructions, Let's hide those views so that only the drawing pad is visible. To do this, we will use the View menu, which can be found just above the toolbar on Windows computers. Open the View menu, and you will see an option for Algebra View and an option for Input Bar. Click on Algebra View, and the Algebra View will disappear. Open the View menu again, and click on Input Bar. The Input Bar disappears as well. Additionally, we will not be using the X and Y axes, so open the View menu once more and click on Axes to hide the X and Y axes. 
To ensure all new elements of our construction are labeled properly, open the Options menu next to the View menu and move your mouse cursor over the text Labeling and select All New Objects. This concludes the comprehensive overview of the features of GeoGebra which will be used throughout the GeoGebra construction videos. Several of these features are reiterated in the videos where they are used.